blood bank study reveals true incidence of long covid the study looked for the presence of anti nucleocapsid antibodies which indicates past natural infection covid 19 vaccines do not elicit the antibody thus distinguishing natural infection from covid 19 vaccination the pandemic has claimed over 7 million lives officially but the actual death toll is believed to be much higher among covid 19 survivors a significant number develop long term health problems the world health organization uses the term long covid for individuals experiencing such symptoms for over 3 months without another explanation unfortunately measuring chronic illness and disability resulting from covid-19 has been challenging due to the various factors while binary outcomes like deaths and icu admissions are easily counted tracking slow onset health issues is more difficult thus is further complicated by the fact that new health problems can arise even without sars cov2 infection consequently studies utilizing different methodologies have reported a wide range of long covid incidence rates a recent study in jama network open has aimed to address this issue by comparing people who had covid-19 with those who did not the researchers utilized the us blood donor data from 238828 individuals leveraging antibodies test result from the pre omicron era to identify individuals who had covid-19 specifically they look for the presence of anti nucleocapsid antibodies which indicates past natural infection the advantage is that is also identifies people who had asymptomatic infection and those who were infected but did not get tested the two covid-19 vaccines used in the us do not elicit the anti an antibody thus distinguishing natural infection from covid-19 vaccination participants were categorized into those who tested positive for anti yen antibody and those who did not a diagnosis of covid-19 by a healthcare professional or a positive covid-19 test was also accepted as evidence of infection essentially the researchers were able to distinguish individuals who genuinely had covid-19 from those who did not using robust parameters this differs from other studies that may have relied on self reported covid-19 diagnosis which tend to be less reliable the researchers discovered that 43.3% of individuals with confirmed sars cov2 infections experience new symptoms lasting 4 weeks or longer after recovering from covid 
among those without infection 22.1% reported new onset symptoms as might be expected in the general population this indicated that 21.2% or the difference between 43.3% and 22.1% had a long term health problems genuinely resulting from sars cov 2 infection among them 84.5% were still experiencing symptoms while 15.5% said that their problems had resolved neurological symptoms were reported by 23.6% while 23.1% experience other problems such as changes in taste or smell and 15.8% had cardiac or respiratory symptoms the two most common individual long term symptoms were difficulty thinking or concentrating 12.7% and fatigue above 11.1% surprisingly the picture of mental health was different among those without infection as many as 9.8% develop mental health problems such as anxiety and depression the incidence was only slightly higher at 11.9% among those with prior infection this is attributed to loneliness fear of infection or death of oneself or loved ones bereavement and financial worries that affect people regardless of their infection status the who noted a 25 point percent increase in anxiety and depression in 2022 due to these factors therefore a key takeaway is that a pandemic impacts the mental well-being of the entire population not just those who got covid among those who had a prior infection in the study one out of six people 16.5% said that their current physical health has worsened than before the pandemic for those without prior infection the corresponding percentage falls 10.9% although symptoms lasting over a year are common the study also reveals that long covid resolves in a significant number of cases accordingly household pulse surveys in the us indicate that the percentage of people currently experiencing long covid has remained steady with 10% of